Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to more Kaecilia Zeon. So, it's almost immediately after I recorded that last one. Though, well, it's actually been about five hours, but that's not important. So, in the last episode, we grabbed Solomon for... Yeah, we grabbed Solomon, we attacked side four, and we are preparing to grab Luna two. So, what I think we're going to do is we're just going to send these guys from here to space one to Luna two and completely ignore defending here, because if they retake it, they retake it. So, it doesn't really matter. But the reason why I keep harping on I want Z or I want the Federation to push into Zeon is because the Federation can take either half of these or a majority of these. Like, if they can take all of them, we'd be perfect. If they take all of them, we can go and grab side three. Then it'll just be us versus the Federation, which will be pretty easy. But, yeah, so... If they would, but with the AI, it's not going to happen like that, I think. Basically, they're going to keep themselves where they are since they grab Belfast. And then Xeon, which only controls four control points instead of five. Actually, is it five and six or is it four and five? I don't really remember. Right here, they have one, two, three, four, five, six up in space, where Xeon has five. So Xeon's going to push out and try to grab one because they try to keep a certain number. After they get that certain number, they get content and they just kind of sit around other laurels. It's very odd, but that's what the AI does. So... Why I'm explaining this is we're going to send these guys up to here to go defend side one. We're going to send this guy from Solomon over to go grab this one. Because this only has one guy, so it's probably like a core booster or something. Then what we'll do is we'll send these guys who are here to side one. And then the guys who will be inside one over to space seven. We'll push out, grab here, push out, grab here. Um, we'll probably be attacking Luna by then. And then after we have these two, we'll grab... And Luna, we'll grab side six side one or side two and side five and we'll wipe up the rest and then we'll stick one guy in here or we'll have our big stack here and we'll put one stacks all around here so if they try to attack us we'll be able to kite them off till we can get in reinforcements and since we'll have a big force in here we'll know where to have our troops run away to which will be nice and as far as units go i guess i'm going guy in with gigan support Unless somebody asked me for something different, and I haven't seen the comments on that video yet. Uh, well, I'll see the comments when they happen. They haven't happened yet. Because the video went live five minutes ago? Ten minutes ago? Something like that? So anyway, let's end this turn. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Alright then, I didn't actually think this was going to happen, but we got lucky. The Rempo is attacking us. With only one guy, which happens to be a core booster. Okay, so, and we have, I think, two, yeah, we have two Zaku Kais. Though, the biggest problem with this is I don't think we can win this battle this turn, because I don't think we can reach them. So while we do control all this stuff, I don't think he can grab bases, so he's just going to sit around here. Like, probably right here, in fact. So I think we're going to have to take two turns to battle him, which will delay our advance a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. But we get double movement since we control the territory. Or at least I assume it's double. It might not actually be double. It might be like 1.7 or some shit like that. But double for simplicity's sake. So yeah, six... Yeah, we can move up to there. You can move up to here. Means you'll be able to move to here or here next turn. Then from there to there, and then yeah. We'll be getting him right as the stage ends. Or right as the battle ends. Unless he decides to move, which would be great. Yep. But we want to stay on the lines as much as we can so we don't lose very much energy moving. Because we lose, like, I think it's 5% per move or some shit like that. We miss a lot. I think it's actually worse with action Zaku's, but I'm not sure. It's to do with your supply consumption. Which is... 16, apparently. But since we're on the lines, it, resta it restocks at the end of every turn. Or restores, I guess would be the correct word. Yeah, I think the axe, uh, the action Zaku is like 30 or something like that. 
Oh, he actually did move. But all he did was cut off the supply line. But I think we can reach him since we still get the bonus. Yeah, we can. Wait. First, we want to... Yeah, you can reach. Okay. Wanted to make sure both of them could reach, because while it only take one stack, if we use both, we won't have to melee. It's a core booster, so it only has 100 HP, and I think Zaku Kai's do 60 per... Either 60 or 90 per ranged phase. Yeah, and nobody died, so they'll just heal themselves. Awesome. Like, it scorched some armor, got like a glancing blow, and gotta replace some plates, but nothing that serious. And if I remember correctly here, yeah, we have Elmuth, so it doesn't really matter. We want to move this guy up to here to go kill this gun cannon. We want to move this one. One, two, three, four. That's not good. And this one here. All right, so we're not doing that this turn. We don't want to get within four spaces because Mega Particle Cannons. And these guys only have a three range. Yeah, they only have a three range. But do we want to risk Chalia for a possible kill? Nah. Let them run. No, you know what? Let's do it. I don't think the Elmuth can, or the Salamis can kill him. But yeah, that scan was really nice. Let's see. 90 plus 45. 95 plus 45. That's what, 141? And it has 439, so yeah, we're good. Yeah, we don't have to worry about anything. I forgot gun cannons were three range. I thought they were two range for some reason. But that's actually snipers. I don't know. Have I translated that? Do I need to translate that? Just look up a bunch of Lala quotes. That's what they generally are. Okay. Let's be honest here. No one cares what Chalia says. Bad cats. Ah, uh, that's an Elmuth. But same thing as before. It can't do enough damage to kill her, so... Or it won't hit at all. That works, too. So, we'll go send Lala out at this guy up here. We'll send... Let's see, one was your weak spot, right? Yeah, one to three. So, they could either do 95 or 140. So, we actually want to get way up close. But the good thing is, is we have Kaecilia, who has relatively good charisma. Yeah, all right. So she has pretty good charisma, so, you know, we get the dodge chance for everyone. Yeah, whatever you say, Cusco. Could have swore they had missiles, but oh well. All they had was anti-air guns. Okay. I'll translate those one of these days, just not this day. Also, she took a ton of damage. Holy shit. Yeah, and... Can we dock helmets in... Uh, Quasians? I think you can only do it in Zanzibars. Because if we can, we can get it some healing. If we can't, well, we'll stick it in a base or something. And this one's actually going to take us a couple of turns. Yeah, because we don't control the territory. But it looks like they only have one GM sniper. That's not too scary. 
if it directly engages us in combat, it'll take, it'll destroy one Zakukai. But as long as we stay within two spaces of it, we should be fine. Because the attack range on a Zaku Sniper is two spaces. They're very mid-range. The Sniper 2 is a lot better, though. They waste too much energy. And sadly, we can't really- we can't easily cut off their supply. Because if we wanted to loop around, we could, but we don't. We're just gonna go straight at it. I feel sad for these guys. They must be running out of food already. Like, unless they brought a lot of food with them, they basically had... They basically been sitting out here for like a week, maybe a week and a half with no support anywhere. They're just stuck in deep space somewhere. Eh, this should be fine though. So, we want here and we want here. So we'll be able to move in to attack them, but he won't be able to move out to attack us. Or not. Apparently, he can move out of that base. I thought the AI would keep him. Let's see. Yeah, they got one hit. That's nothing. Like, we can ignore that. Okay, so you, we want to reorganize you, throw you, you, you. So the damaged one's in the back. You'll go here. You'll go here. That's just in case we don't kill him. We'll still be sitting next to the base. Wow. Sucks to be that guy. But, hey, that's only one suit dying. It's not one unit dying. So, that's all good. Alright then. Okay, so you, we want you replaced. We'll move you to here. We'll move you down here to here. Do you have anyone here? Hey, we might be able to grab side five. And side two. Okay, no one there. So you have 27 here, whereas we have 47. You have 13, you have 16, you have 27. We might be getting attacked from down here and up here then. Which would be interesting. Or 28, 17, 16. Yeah, I don't think that's it. How much did the Elmets heal? Yeah. I kinda wanna wait a turn just to let them get some healing, but that'll allow Luna 2 to actually produce some units. So we want to avoid that. We'll just, we won't use Lala on this next battle. It'll be fine. Um, you know what? Instead of pushing uh, side one, let's just throw someone in. Actually, never mind. I'm being too cautious. Because we're moving these guys to here, and the next turn we'll attack there. I was thinking, since we're leaving this next turn, they'll be grabbing side four, and then they'd be able to grab Solomon. But yeah, I'm being overly cautious. It's pointless. And was there anything we wanted? Not particularly. Though we need those for Zigakis, but we'll get those later. But yeah, I'm thinking Gaians and Gigans for our ground forces, because we'll have space basically taken care of. And I think Gaians work in space too. I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure they do. If they don't, I know the Krieger does. Because the Krieger is basically good at everything. The Krieger is the marine version of the Gaian, if you don't know. It's exclusive to this game. Sixteen to nine. Even without Lala, we should be fine. All right. So we want Kaecilia. You can't reach. Damn it. Um. You guys are good. You're going here, and hey, you'll just go here. Yeah, 
私には守らなくてはならない人がいるわ強いけれど深い悲しみを持った人わかりますその人を愛しているのですね私もできる限りお手伝いしますありがとう Alright, that was actually an accident but oh well yeah, so next turn we'll have somebody out grab that. We'll have Lala move in the turn after. And we'll send Chalia, Simis, and the two Elmets at the enemy. Which, by the way, are a Magellan, two sni uh, Sniper, and a Custom, and two Light Armors, and a Command, and two Normal GMs. Not a Custom, a Kai. If they had GM Customs, I'd be kind of scared. Or they can run away, that works too. Here, I was hoping they'd actually fight us, but... And nothing happening is good with me. Alright then. So, they're building some saberfish, some GMs, a ball, GM, a GM sniper, a saberfish. So, we're going to move you guys to here. We're going to send these guys to here, which has four units now. Starting to heat up, I guess. Send you guys to here. So yeah, we'll kind of have a front like this. I don't think Xeon will attack us if they but if they do, we'll recapture it. It's fine. Um grab that. Oops. Grab that. But yeah, they'll have like 20 units here, so that should be interesting. But after that, we'll send like a Gaddle to go capture side seven. And then I think we'll actually go down here. And go sit in the middle of the atmosphere, put like one unit all around here so we can engage them, and then have like these guys going down and recapturing all this shit. And I think we'll retake side six, but we won't keep it because it's the neutral thing, like these guys. And I I want good points in this campaign so I can get the special unit, but that won't happen until turn fifty, so we should be fine there. I told them to attack, right? I really hope I did. Yeah, I did. All right. So they outnumber us, technically. I don't believe it, but they do. And did Lala heal at all? Yes, yes, we did. Because basically, Elmiths are worth a stack on their own. I wish the Bra Bows were better, but... You know, neither of them are new types, so neither of them can use the wire bits. Because that's how that works, by the way. I don't know if you have to be a new type or just a really high level, but I'm pretty sure you have to be a new type. Because... Yeah, it, it just has a Psychomu system. It doesn't have the proto Psychomu. So I think you have to be a new type to do it. Which means Simus is never getting it. Alright, so they have a command, a something, probably a sniper, and a normal GM. That's a core booster. That's a Magellan. That's a light armor with two saberfish. That's a normal GM. That's a command on top. That's a Magellan. That's two commands and probably a sniper. And those are two normal GMs. So, what we're going to do is, where's Chalia? Chalia... Good sir, you are going to move forward, you are going to scan. You are then going to fire on this here core booster. Because we don't have to worry about anything there. Um, you are Ch or you are Cusco I. You are to move forward. You are going to shoot at these guys here. You who is Marion Welsh is going to move here to go shoot at this here ship. Uh La La is going to move Snipers, right? Yeah, snipers. All right. Lala is going to move one step forward and then fire at you because snipers have a two attack range. Yeah, two attack range. So that's all good there. You're going to move here, capture that base. You are then going to spread particles. No, nah, actually. Yeah, fuck it because the thing with it is bits aren't affected by particles. They have 99% accuracy. So that's all good there. We'll then go shoot at you as well. 
Yeah, you're just a normal GM, not a command or a light armor like I thought. Normal GM, Magellan, yeah, core booster. I hope you all believe me that that's a core booster because it is. And yeah, we don't need to have you shoot. I don't think. Um, and you're getting everyone, right? Yeah. All right, that should be easy. We'll cut like a third of their force down in a minute. Ah, just barely. I'm really hoping that guy runs away instead of trying to fight. But literally anything at this point can take him out. This one, I'm kind of up in the air whether it's going to work or not. Alright. It was dodge chance versus actually hitting him. But if he gets strength B, he becomes a new type. Oh. I should not have had Simmons do that. That was my bad. She got it done, but I shouldn't have done that. That was a very bad idea. Oh, you know what that sniper's gonna do? That sniper is gonna go attack the Guazine for no good reason. We're then gonna have Bernie go out and kill him for the fun of it. Because sadly in this game, Bernie is basically useless. And... We killed the Saberfish, but it wasn't necessary. But Bernie stat-wise is just terrible. He never gets good. Like, I think his shooting stat's its highest, and it's like 18 at rank S. It's like really pointless to train him. Then again, Jared's also terrible, so... What can you do? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm more afraid of those balls than I am of the Magellan. Uh -huh. Unnecessary, but those they were scarier. So, see, so you have Bernie and Izaku or Izaku Kai, Johnny Ridden and Izaku Kai, and Char, all in one army. Oh, whoops! It's start. My bad. I was playing that other one and I got that mixed up. Um, Simus. I want you to do us all a fa Well, actually. Marion Welsh, first off. You go here, shoot this guy. Cusco, you move here, you shoot the guy. You shoot the guy in the center, because it'll do more damage in the end. You move here, you go shoot at that guy. Lala, you just move forward, because you're kind of in the back. Simis, you move forward, you scan. And you don't do anything. Because I made that mistake once. And since they're actually shooting at him, they'll get the priority because they can melee. Oh, wait. As I say, if I put up a beam shield over this guy, he won't be able to shoot back. Except for the Guazine's shooting that way, so it'll be a wasted action. So instead, we'll just have you move forward and shoot as well. And everyone who needs to attack is attacking, yeah? Yeah. Ah, shot down ten ships. And yeah, for some reason, I think Johnny Ridden is easy, Pete. Okay, we don't care what you say, Chalia. Come on, kill the sniper. Yay! Did a lot more damage than I thought he would. Good job, Chalia. 
Alright. Two light armors and a sniper. You know, I was hoping for better, but that's fine. Alright. Uh, but we killed the command here. Oh, and then there's some balls. I thought it was a standard GM underneath. Yeah, that's fine enough. The only one I'm really worried about is Chalia. Mm-hmm. Um, we're actually not going to have him attack back. Oh, we should totally have done that. Never mind. Fuck. They had my luck in melee, but... If we would have fired back, we could have probably killed the light armors, but... Knowing this game, we probably would have died if we tried that. So, Chalia. You're one to three, and I think... God damn it. Oops. Hmm. Fine, you'll scan. Yeah, you're one to two, so... One, two... You're a new type of type. And... あなたのような方が好きです。お心は大きくお持ちいただけると、ジオンのためにすばらしいことだと思われますな。良い忠告として受け取っておく。私はまた友人が増えたようだ。よろしく頼む。Alright. So we're gonna have you shoot at the balls, cause hopefully you get to rank B soon. He needs about 50 more, so he'll need to kill like three of these. Cause I think they get 15 each. Um, let's see, Lala, you can move up, go kill these guys. Let's see, who's higher? I think Marion Welsh is lower level. So, yeah, Marion Welsh will go kill this one individual guy, and then these guys will move up, reorganize to, then go kill that guy. And you know what? We'll just move you to here. You'll then go spread particles. Not that we really need them, but it's kind of useful. Yeah, let's go. This should be Luna too. So good. Oh, sorry. I thought it was Chalia for a second there. I'm surprised I actually landed that Sturm in space. Sturms are really hard to shoot in space. Because you don't just gotta look at like on a vertical plane. You gotta do horizontal too. Good job, Chalia. Okay. Marion Welsh is one of those characters where it's like, you've killed 99 people already. One more doesn't matter. God damn it. Yep, you're a new type. Congratulations. You want a sticker? Yay, we have Luna 2 now. Who would have thought? Okay. Well, later that'll get a lot. The campaign will get harder later when we don't have we don't have bits in the very beginning. Let's see, they have a Magellan, they have a GM, they have a sniper, and they have a saberfish. Nothing to worry about here. Though, again, we won't be able to reach them for quite a while. I'm wondering if they'll run away or not. They shouldn't, but they might. 
Yeah, okay, they're actually trying to fight us. But the Saberfish is basically a waste. The Magellan will be hard because it's going to be in a base and it's going to keep getting uh, more energy as we attack it. But that should be fine. We'll take out the GM on its own, the GM and the Saberfish when they send them at us. Because that's how the AI works for some reason. Yeah, GM, Saberfish, and that's a GM command. I thought it was a sniper. It's actually a command. We'll engage the Saberfish at the end of this turn. Or, next turn. Oh, never mind. They're all meeting at the center for some reason. Well, poo. Here, I was hoping I could ambush them. Yeah, come at me, bro. I think they can reach me anyway. The Saberfish could. Oh no, the GM could. Saberfish actually went back. Oh, and it's a GM command. Lovely. Without an ace, those things are terrible. And you know there's not an ace because they didn't say anything beforehand. Even you, you know, you talks too much, so of course he would. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go into their line of sight. I don't care. They'll probably shoot at these guys, though. I'm hoping they send either the command or the saberfish at us. Nope. Simple. Surprised the ship didn't shoot at us, to be honest. But we'll take that base and then we'll attack the ship the turn after. Finally going towards the center. Now it's rightly in Federation hands. And six against four here. They have a Magellan, a cannon, that'll be interesting. And a Saberfish, and a normal GM. All right, so basically same thing as before. Though they can outrange us now, so we gotta be careful. GM cannons have a three attack range, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a three attack range. Yeah, cannon, normal GM, Saberfish, and a Magellan. Yeah, I hope they send them all at us, to be honest. Make this a lot quicker. Ah, oh, one space away. Yeah, I was hoping we'd be able to capture the base. Oh, well. Ugh. And that cannon's gonna shoot at us. Luckily, we don't really have much to worry about. Yeah. Since we didn't lose anyone, we can just heal through it. It's fine. So. They're gonna move here, grab that. You'll heal for a turn. You'll move here, shoot at that guy. We'll kill him at least in melee. Hopefully. Yeah, and most likely these Zaku's will be fully healed now. The other group. Now we gotta play chicken with the Magellan. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you're fully you're fully healed, so. Now you know what? Let's not even play chicken. Let's hope to outrange them. Oh. Who'd they send at us? The snipers? All right. I accept that. Mega particle cannons are scary. Oh, it's another GM command. Of course it is. I never build those when I play as the Federation. They're, like, really trash. But next turn, we'll be able to take out the Magellan, then we'll take out the Saberfish. 
That'll work out. But that'll, in fact, be next episode, folks. Because I must end this battle. I must end this episode now. It is already past 30 minutes. I probably shouldn't have included Luna too, but I did. So we're going to take this here Gaddle. We're going to tell this here Gaddle to go invade here. We're going to tell everyone else. And the... Uh, whoops. Ah, shit. All right. You can't unselect somebody, because if you do, you tell them to stop moving altogether. It's very annoying. But yeah, we'll tell them to go down here. Or... Shit, you know what? We'll do it the easy way. If everyone to move, then grab the single unit. Tell them to go grab that. We'll go attack here. We'll send the gaddle back to here. We'll send the gaddle down. We'll go into the center. We'll grab the rest of this. We'll take those two. We'll have this one... Well, we'll actually have these guys stay here. And use the elements to take out the atmosphere. But anyway, folks, that was that. Like the video if you liked it. Don't dislike it if you didn't. I'll be back for more next week.